peeps, I'm back. This is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. On this particular vlog, I wanted to talk about something totally different. I wanted to talk about health again. Well, I talk about health sometimes, but this time I want to talk about are you listening to your body? I think that's very important that we should listen to our bodies because our bodies give us subtle signs of what's going on with us. Um, like... For instance, um, for me, I um, have pre high blood pressure and high blood pressure running my family. And sometimes I can tell when my blood pressure is up because my body gives me um, signs that my blood pressure is up. Oftentimes, I know they say that blood pressure, high blood pressure is the silent killer. And I believe. Oftentimes, our bodies give us subtle signs that something is wrong. And I think if you listen, learn to listen to your body, and um, oftentimes this can be done through deep meditation, um, just taking time for peace and quietness, and just listening. Um, I think when I was younger, I used to eat some of everything. <laughs> I didn't think I was not as conscious about staying healthy until I got older and I think as I got older I realized that it's important to stay healthy and because you know you want to live long and be able to do things in life um, be able to reach goals and aspirations in your life you have to be able to um, be able to Listen to yourself. Listen to your body. And because and, I don't think people realize that your body is like internet, interconnected. Your your mind, your body, and spirit, all of it is intertwined with each other. And it works together in order to bring things into action, in order for things to manifest. So listening to your body is very important. And like... Um, like I said, back to the high blood pressure, I sort of got off subject, but when I'm with the high blood pressure, I could tell when it's up is when my eyes start to turn a little red. Sometimes, um, I might have a little bit of shortness of breath. Um, I might, my arms might feel a little bit of tightness on it, especially in the upper arm, and I might feel a little numbness on the side of the face. You know, sometimes they say that could be a sign of high blood pressure or even stroke. So... And sometimes that happens when I miss a blood pressure pill or something, I miss a dose or something, or I ate something that's too high in, in salt and sodium. So what I've been doing is I've been doing a lot of research in um, what's inside the foods that we eat. And when you listen to your body, that's when you can pinpoint what is causing you to not feel well. And I think that's very important to sit down and think about it. Um, I think it's good to keep like a little journal for yourself. Like me, I keep a high blood pressure journal. Um, and sometimes, you know, if I'm feeling sick or something, I know it's my blood pressure, my body ain't right. I sit down and actually write down what it is, uh, what I ate, when, what time I might have took my meds. And I try to sit down and pinpoint what it is that's causing me to feel sick. So I can go to the doctor and tell them exactly what's going on. A lot of times when you have information and keep documentation of what's going on with yourself, um, you can go to the doctor and have more information, more knowledge to share with them so they can pinpoint exactly what's going on. But I noticed too I was feeling a little numbness. Um, and I just didn't, wasn't feeling well when I was eating certain types of food. So I started reading the box, the ingredients. I'm giving you an example of this mashed potatoes box, for instance. I started reading the ingredients and here it is right here on the box. And I started reading, um, what, what is in it. It's very important. Um, I'm going to give you an example. Um, one is the emulsifiers. Emulsifiers. I wanted to know. What on earth is emulsifier? I didn't have a clue what emulsifier was until I did a little research here. I found an article. Let me show you. Here's a picture. It's a blog that I found. That um, and one of the authors is um, Elizabeth Grossman, and she um, wrote an article about how emulsifiers are messing up your gut and making us fat. So I'm going hmm. 
you know, I shared my weight loss journey with you all, and I, when I did that, I started to look and document what I'm eating. That's very important to losing weight when you start sitting down and looking exactly what you're eating, what are you putting in your body. So, like I said, it's very important to stay healthy and be conscious and be at one with your body. And that is key to being healthy. So, my question to you all today is, are you listening to your body? What are you putting into it? Are you in alignment with your mind, body, and spirit? That's my question. Well, that's all I have to say to you guys. <laughs> I would love to hear your comments. Please leave your comments and like the video. And I look forward to hearing, to hearing from you all. Until next time, peace and be blessed. And remember to love yourself and take care of your body and your heart. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye.